International Conference to Counter Terrorism and Religious Extremism starts today in Damascus. The Syrian Arab Army maintains control over new sites in the Iraq countryside and eliminates dozens of terrorists in the Hasaka countryside. Tunisian Interior Minister says that wealthy Arabs from the Gulf fund terrorist groups in Tunisia. Good afternoon. With the participation of political, religious and cultural personnel from 25 Arab and foreign countries, the International Conference to Counter Terrorism and Religious Extremism started today in Damascus, the Maros Hotel in Damascus. In his speech, Prime Minister Dr. Wael al halaqi asserted that Syria is facing today the most dangerous terrorist groups, such as ISIS, al-Nusra and the so-called Islamic Front. al halaqi added that Syria, since the beginning of the crisis, has warned those who encourage terrorism and religious extremism by providing weapons under misleading slogans that terrorism would inevitably reflect badly on the whole world. As a member of a large American delegation uh, who are present uh, in the Syrian Arab Republic, I just want to say that it is an honor for us to be here at this important conference for a number of reasons, not least of which is the spatial connection between the American people and the Syrian people. I remind you that it was in the mid-19th century uh, when the first uh, large number of Arabs came to my country, they were Syrian. The Syrian people and their leaders have built America over the last uh, 150 years, and our relationship today between the people of your country and ours uh, is strong. And I think uh, for that reason and others, it, it perhaps will have more credibility because hopefully coming out of this conference will be uh, a resolution calling for the Security Council uh, to act on the earlier resolution on terrorism. Uh, and that obviously is important for Syria, which today is in the crosshairs uh, of, uh, of uh, terrorism. The ideology of ISIS is spreading among the Western societies because of the policies of their governments that support terrorism in Syria. The US, Canada, Germany and Britain announced that hundreds of their citizens have joined ISIS. After the recent strikes in many Western countries, including the US and Canada, there has been an increasing concern of pro-ISIS people in the Western communities. The German Minister of Justice asserted that German authorities are conducting investigation regarding 300 German people linked to ISIS, after announcing previously that there had been 230 extremists inside Germany, describing them as dangerous. The Internal Security Agency in Germany asserted that 60 German citizens were killed killed after joining ISIS, and 550 people have left Germany to come to Syria and Iraq to join the terrorists. Moreover, the director of the Finnish intelligence disclosed that more than 50 Finnish citizens have left their country and infiltrated into Syria to join the ranks of the terrorists, eight of which were killed, which the Finnish security is suspecting that there are 300 people planning to carry out terrorist attacks in Finland.
Armenians continue their advance in Al Sheikh Miskin in the Iraq countryside, maintaining control over new areas in the town. The army also intensified military strikes on the terrorist hideouts in many areas in the city's countryside, cutting off their supply routes. In Al Hasaka countryside, the Syrian Arab army's operations resulted in killing more than 150 terrorists from ISIS and injuring many others, including non Syrians. In Idlib countryside, Syrian Arab army units destroyed booby-trapped vehicles of the so-called Islamic Front and Ahrar al-Sham terrorists killing many others, including non-Syrians. In Aleppo's eastern countryside, the citizens and the defense units in Ain al-Arab continued their advance, killing about 20 terrorists and injuring others. On the terrorists' At attack by four suicide bombers from ISIS in Ain al Arab, local sources asserted that the terrorists came through the Turkish territory and entered from the border crossing of Mershid Binar. The local sources added that the Turkish authorities supported ISIS since the Turkish security forces controlled the Turkish side of the crossing. Turkish media also asserted that a suicide car bomber entered from the Turkish territory. Meanwhile, the local defense units continued their advance on the southern and eastern parts of Ain al Arab, inflicting heavy casualties among the terrorists and cutting off some of their supply routes. Tunisian Interior Minister Lutfi bin Jiddo revealed intelligence information over wealthy Arabs from the Gulf who embraced the Takfiri thought and fund the terrorist groups in Tunisia. In an interview with the Algerian newspaper Al Khabar, the minister asserted that the terrorist activities grew more violent ahead of the presidential elections, but this was concealed in order not to cause disturbance in the voting centers, which would have bad effects on voters' turnout. In Iraq, the armed forces continued their operations in a number of areas, eliminating ISIS terrorists. The army, in cooperation with the locals and supported by the Air Force, started an operation against ISIS terrorists in the suburbs of Mahmoura and al Quair district in Ninawa Governorate. In Al-Ambar, the security forces continued operations supported by the locals in Al-Ahwaz and in the middle of Al-Ramari city. Bulgarian newspapers revealed that four planes loaded with the weapons left Bulgaria to Saudi Arabia as there are two other planes ready to take off. Sources mentioned that these weapons may go to the armed terrorist groups in Syria. The newspaper said that empty jumbo planes landed in Sofia airport and after a few hours they left carrying weapons and ammunition on board which were unloaded in Tabuk airport in Saudi Arabia. The General Authority for Palestinian Arab Refugees and the UNRWA distributed 300 humanitarian aid packages in Yarmouk camp in Damascus. The Director General Ali Mustafa affirmed that the aid, which was distributed with the help of the Syrian government, consisted of 300 food packages, which were distributed at Rama City in the camp, adding that the UNRWA's medical team provided medical services and medicine to the locals. Moreover, nine people were evacuated created from the camp for medical purposes. In Bahrain, Al Khalifa's authorities continued suppressing the demonstrations that are against the parliamentarian elections. Bahraini sources stated that these demonstrations took out to the streets to express their opinion that they are against such elections, while Al Khalifa used their force to suppress any different opinion. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Syrina, but after a short break. <laughs>